Going small when trying to fill a prescription. More and more people are looking to smaller companies with yet another big drugstore closing on the horizon. Now more than a thousand Walgreens stores set to close and it has people looking for other options. I-Team reporter Sean Haggerty has the story new at 6 tonight. <laughs> They might need to change some of the signs here at LaGrange Pharmacy. Not only are they going to be welcoming Rite Aid customers, but pretty soon that sign might need to say Walgreens as well. Shopping small is taking on a new meaning for medication these days. Big retailers like Rite Aid keep closing stores, meaning more people are coming back to small places like LaGrange Pharmacy. People want to be taken care of. They want per the personal one-on-one. -on -one. We just take care of our people. We love on them, we, we take care of them. Registered pharmacy technician Linda Gobrich says lots of Rite Aid customers have already discovered LaGrange Pharmacy, which has actually been here at LaGrange and Central for close to 30 years. Some of them are lost. They just, they didn't realize it. They, they still come into this day and say our prescriptions was at Rite Aid and um, we need to transfer them. Switching to this place or any pharmacy starts with a call to that pharmacy and a call to your doctor to make sure they're aware. With Walgreens now announcing it will close 1,200 stores in the next three years, pharmacists here expect to see more of those customers filling their prescriptions here. They're very aware of carefully dispensing things like opioids, something larger chains have been accused of failing at over the years. All part of what they think will be a more one-on-one -on -one approach that people can feel comfortable with. This pharmacy even offers delivery, trying to make the entire process easier for everybody. Sean Hegarty, 13 Action News.